G'day YouTube, 1MJ here. Well, I thought I'd do a bit of a uh, blog uh, about my number one performer. So it's the Synthetics Network. Uh, now, I'm really stoked that it's my number one performer because it's also an Australian project. So if you haven't worked out by now from my introduction saying g'day, I am Australian. Uh, and yeah, this one has been my best performer. So I think at the moment I'm up about 300% from when I got in uh, on my synthetics. Well, not even when I initially got in. Some of my synthetics is up more. Uh, all of my synthetics in total are up 300 odd percent. Uh, so synthetics is uh, on quite a run uh, and I'm pretty happy with it. But what we're going to do is have a look at exactly what synthetics is. So it's a protocol for trading synthetic assets uh, and it's on the Ethereum network. So basically it's, a, it's like an exchange where you can uh, trade for synthetics asset, synthetic assets of all types of things. Uh, and they're including stuff, uh, you know, semi-regularly at the moment. Uh, it's still a, a new platform and, you know, uh, there's talk that there could still be bugs. Well, there's not that there's talk that there could be bugs in it, but there could be. Uh, it's experimental at the moment. So, yeah, obviously it's new. Uh, I really like it. Though. I, I, I can't speak highly enough of, it, enough of it, and that's why I'm doing this video right now. Uh, just to give you a, an understanding uh, of of what it's like and my personal thoughts on it. Now, obviously, I don't offer any trading advice, uh, any financial advice. Sorry, I should say I'm not a financial advisor. This is just my personal opinions and more for uh, entertainment and educational sort of purposes. So, you know, I'll tell you what I think and run you through it and you make your own mind up whether it's for you. But Synthetics Network, so their ticker is SNX. So as you can see over here, they make synthetic uh, variants of like, you know, uh, the British Pound, BTC, uh, Link, so Chainlink, and, and all sorts of stuff. So I de I DeFi right, right there, that is uh, inverse DeFi. So if you think DeFi is going to go down, you can buy the inverse token. And if it goes down, then obviously you make money. But if it goes up, uh, then you don't make money. And the way it works is they have their own USD. It's called SUSD, Synthetics USD. And what you have to do is you've got to stake your uh, synthetics uh, to get that USD. And then you can go over their exchange and yeah, buy and trade whatever you uh, want uh, that's on their platform. And we'll have, have a look at that in a minute. But basically, this is uh, their I, this is their initial website. So there's different things that you can uh, get synths from. So you can buy other crypto synths, commodities, forex, index, and inverse. So uh, yeah, they've got a few on there, and they're adding them all the time. Go down here. This is a bit of a look at their exchange. This isn't the actual exchange. We'll go have, go over and have a look at it. But this is uh, what there is. So as you can see, they've got all these different things here. Your orders, your trades, and all sorts of trades. So it's a pretty good site. And they're updating it all the time uh, and adding new uh, tokens and things like that. So yeah, I'm loving it. Can't speak highly enough. You can go have a look at their light paper there, their community. So they've got their exchange, they've got the Minter, so this is where you go uh, and you will stake your SNX uh, and then you will mint those SNX to get USD as well. And then you take your USD over to the exchange uh, and then again, you can buy whatever it is that you wanna buy. So uh, a pretty good looking uh, initial page, which I like, it's obviously not cheap and they've put some thought into it. Uh, and that's something that uh, is a good start. If you go to a web page and it's just looking really crappy and not nice, then chances are someone hasn't put a lot of effort into it and it could be dodgy. But hey, look, a nice web page doesn't mean that it's legit at all. But Synthetics has been around for a while and I really like that they've put some uh, work into this page. Now, let's go over to here. We'll have a look at uh, market cap. So this is on the DeFi settings. You can see that uh, Maker is at the top. Uh, Aave, uh, they're on an absolute rip tear at the moment. And I've got some Aave as well, and I'll eventually do a video on them. They're one of my better performers. Compound, Kyber Network, and Synthetics. And you can see in the last 24 hours, it's gone up 5.7% in 24 hours. Uh, oh, sorry, 5.65%. Look, uh, I went on the wrong one there. So, and they look, they're regularly uh, in the top ones. They have been doing outstanding uh, and you know this DeFi market just keeps growing you know there's some ones that everyone knows about Dai and Ren and Loopring and Bancor and things like that but you start to move down Carver I will do a video on them they're uh, my second best performer at the moment 
So IDEX and all these other ones, Switcheroo, you know, there's tons of them. So we've got nearly 50 different DeFi projects coming up in this thing now. Uh, be very careful at some stage, and there may well be already, there's going to be scam DeFi stuff because that's the the big thing at the moment. So just be wary. Make sure you do your research. And as I said, we already went and had a look at uh, their initial website. Looks pretty schmick. We go over to the DeFi thing. They're up really, really high. So that's obviously good as well. Shows that there's a legit trade. So that's the circulating volume, the 24-hour volume. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry. So, you know, that doesn't mean they're legit either, but they are one of the better performers. So that helps to show that uh, they're at least somewhat legit. You know, it doesn't confirm that they're legit. But we go over here and we have a look at the synthetics uh, token and its overall value. So it's up to $3.42. Uh, Again, up around about sort of 5.5%. But we have a look here. So uh, it has been, yeah, doing quite well. Now this is overall. So it came out back in uh, 2018. And we can see that it had a bit of a pump had a bit of a correction and now it's had a bit of a pump and then just leveled off and it's just soaring at the moment absolutely soaring so my advice to anyone who wants to get into synthetics token is number one do your research first but number two understand that if you buy at the moment it's quite possible that there's going to be a retracement it's on quite a bit of a run at the moment but if you like synthetics and you think it has long-term value then there's never really going to be a, a bad time to invest unless it fails and goes to zero, and that's a possibility. But if you believe in the fundamentals like I do, I love what synthetic uh, networks are doing. I love their whole platform. I'm going to be holding these for the long term. Now, you can stake them and all the rest, but just be prepared that if you buy it today at like $3.20, $3.30, uh, it could crash back to maybe $1.50 or something like that, and maybe even lower. Who knows? But long term... I think it's got a long way to go. And we'll get into why I think that as well. Uh, it's very early on in the piece. Like Bitcoin's just gone through the halving. You know, everyone's expecting uh, this next bull run. And we might already be in a bull run. Uh, you know, it's hard to know when you're in a bull run until things are just going silly. But Bitcoin at the moment's leveled off. Ethereum, you know, is kind of leveled off. So the bigger players have leveled off and it's alt season. So all the smaller ones are going on a bit of a run. But we have to wait and see what happens really to Bitcoin and Ethereum. If they really start to move, then obviously we're in a bull run. But they could dump off, you know. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. And I have a sneaky suspicion that Bitcoin is going to do a bit of a dump before we start to move into the next bull run. I don't think it's going to go too low, but I can definitely see Bitcoin maybe going down to around about 8,000, maybe even a little bit low into the 7,000s before it starts to pick up. But no guarantees. Don't take my word for it that that's what's going to happen. That's just my sneaky suspicion. So Synthetics Networks is at all-time highs right now. So if you're going to get involved, just be mindful that there's every chance it's going to have a retracement. But no guarantees. It could just keep going on a run. And I'm going to go into why I think that. If we go over here, here is DeFi Pulse. So it's a really good uh, page that I like that can just give you an eye, idea of where things in the DeFi realm are at. Now, it doesn't have everything DeFi. It's mainly Ethereum. Uh, so it doesn't have uh, Carver on there, which we'll have a look at. But what we can see here is Synthetics is number three. Now, it, it was a lot lower, but now its volume is up at 423 million. So it's up 0.19%, uh, but it's not too far off Maker. So it's only 200 million, <laughs> only 200 million, <laughs> but it's not too far. But if it can get up to Maker, then it's going to be quite easy to reel in compound. Uh, I don't think it'll be too hard. Now, these are lending sites, which uh, people really, really like. But derivatives markets are massive. They are huge. As this space starts to grow, I think a lot more people are going to get into derivatives. I think lending, you know, it's going to have its place as well. And I, I see Maker going up and I see Compound going up. But I think the derivatives market is going to be huge. And there's not too many other places that are doing the uh, derivatives like synthetics. I'm not saying there's no other places because there definitely is. But synthetics are doing it the best at the moment. And like they said, they've just been on a run ever since I got in. And again, if we go back to, uh, where was it? No, synthetics network on CoinGecko. We can see that in the last year, it's gone up 
1,200%. So, God, I wish I had have got in a year ago because I'd still be holding him and still be staking him and I'd be laughing. But I got in more than 30 days ago, so I got in around about, let's say, 90-ish days ago, a little bit longer. Again, I got in sort of March. So I've been lucky enough to realise all of that and some again i'm up 300 i think it's nearly 350 percent and still rising so yeah loving what synthetic networks are doing and i love the exchange which we're going to have a look at in a sec but again we'll go back to defi pulse i can see synthetics network uh starting to really rein in on maker and compound and possibly overtake them I can definitely see that, but it's not guaranteed. Lending's always going to be big. So, uh, the derivatives and that, that's more for traders. Trading's big. Lending, uh, yeah. I think synthetics, when it really gets on a pump, could possibly overtake Maker and Compound for a while, but whether it can hold the number two and number one spot long term, I don't know, but it's on one hell of a run right now. So well done, synthetics, and I'll be keeping an eye out on this to see just how, yeah, how much it can kind of rake these guys in i think compound's going to continue to fall a little bit it got on such a run that yeah i think it's going to pull back and i wouldn't be surprised if maker uh, takes over compound at some stage it's only sort of 10 million off at the moment so we'll keep a look out so what we're going to do uh, is we'll go over and we'll have a look at synthetics exchange so basically you can hook up to synthetics exchange uh, through wallets so trezor ledger metamask there's a few different options there and this is their exchange so again, this is all SUSD, so that's Synthetics USD. When you uh, stake your Synthetics, they will give you uh, USD uh, for that. Now, depending on how Synthetics have done, sometimes you can uh, sort of lose a little bit, and we'll go into that. But anyway, at some stage, you're going to get some Synthetics USD. And then you bring it over to the exchange, and then you can start to buy yeah whatever you want. So you can go against the Synthetics BTC market here, Synthetics ETH, Fiat. So there's all sorts of different things you can do here. I generally just stick with this one. I go against uh, USD. So here you can buy uh, Synthetics USD. So you can see it's gone up. There's the inverse on the ETH. So if you think ETH's going to drop, you can buy the inverse. Uh, now this one's lost money because uh, it went up. Uh, BTC, this is the one that I have invested uh, fairly heavily in. So uh, SDFI. So there's a number of different coins that are in this. So we can have a look. Now we can... No, hasn't done it. I've gone to the wrong one. All right, so the SDFI, basically there's a few different coins in there. I think it's Chainlink. I think Aave's been uh put in i think ren's been put in synthetic networks has been put in and maybe even kyber uh, I, I can't i don't have it right in front of me but it's basically a number of different DeFi coins so the good thing is that it's say synthetics doesn't do too well for a week or so but a week or two sorry but Aave is doing really well and you know Chainlink's doing really well then that's going to push the price of this up so you're not invested in one sort of again like BTC or ETH this is a group of things uh, so that's what I really like they've brought out sort of group buys so this is a good one I, 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 well in my personal opinion this is the one that I've got on to because DeFi has been doing so well so yeah and, and a ton of other stuff so inverse uh, Tron and things like that. Again, if you think something's going to go down, you can invest in that. And if it goes down, then the price of that goes up. But vice versa, if it goes up, then the price of that goes down. So it's like any kind of exchange. You can definitely uh, lose uh, your money, uh, but you can also make some money. Now, they don't have leveraging as far as I know. I haven't seen any leveraging. Uh, I think they are looking at it. Uh, I don't do leverage trading. Um, I'm not a fan of it. It's more like gambling to me. And some people would say, this is gambling. And look, you know, I guess in some people's eyes, maybe it is gambling. But for me, I believe in cryptocurrencies and I think they're the future. So I don't see this as gambling. You can see gold down here. Yeah, so they've got a ton of stuff. We've got uh, silver down here. So if you think silver is going to go up, you can buy the synthet synthetic silver. Uh, synthetics uh, gold uh, they've got lots of different things and the inverse d5 if you think it's going to go down so tons of different things there so this is the exchange you come on here hook your wallet up uh, and then you can start to trade and buy the things uh, in the way that you think they're going to perform so if you think some kind of fiat is going to go up 
buy that uh, synthetics if you think it's going to go down buy that synthetics uh, and again all different sort of markets and they're continually adding markets they're adding more and again they're going to get into leverage trading so if that's your thing go for it i honestly think synthetics it's a i'm loving it i don't know how else to say it i'm trying to think of the word i think it has some potential that's what i'm looking for i think it has a ton of potential i don't think we're anywhere near seeing just how far this thing can go i mean we're at you know three dollars uh us at the moment you know price predictions they're so hard who knows you know how far it can go but it would not surprise me if this got to above thirty dollars in the next bull run well above thirty dollars i think it could go maybe fifty dollars but again we'll have to wait and see it all depends you know on what the whole market does people are talking about bitcoin possibly going to three hundred thousand dollars if bitcoin goes to three hundred thousand dollars then synthetics yeah i don't know how high it go it'd be too hard but it's currently trading at three dollars i can easily see it going another 10x in the next bull run even from here because it's still such a small market you know we've only got you know 200 something million a billion people i think involved in cryptocurrencies in total so we haven't even hit the trillion dollar mark and then you know once once it all starts to happen and it's my belief uh, that it is happening that major adoption and all the rest of it uh, yeah it, it'll be amazing to see just how high cryptocurrencies can go now we go over to here we go to minter so this is where you're going to come and stake your coin so again you can hook up metamask trezor ledger you know your coinbase account wallet connect you know portus and things like that and what you do is hook it up now i can't get the screen i'm not hooked up at the moment with my wallet and basically it'll say uh, go ahead and stake your snx now you have to have a capitalization a collateral ratio sorry of 750 800 percent so you can't stake all of it you've got to have enough uh in case that it fluctuates so there are occasions where you might stake your snx uh it will give you some US, uh, susd uh, when that happens and you can take it straight over to the exchange uh, and do whatever you want but you might come back uh in a week or two weeks now you have to collect your rewards at a minimum of every two weeks on a wednesday so make sure otherwise all the rewards that you got will go back into the pool so that's the susd and things like that so weekly is what a lot of people do it or fortnightly just depending on what you want to do but it's wednesdays and a minimum of fortnightly if you don't collect your rewards you don't get your rewards they get put back into the pool for other people so just remember that uh yeah and you're going to get your usd on a sort of us usd uh and your staking rewards so you're getting more synth back uh every week every fortnight now the synth that you get back it goes into escrow and you can't touch for 12 months so it's not like you just automatically get your synths uh and then you can go and sell them they're locked up in escrow for 12 months uh eventually i'm sure that will change but at the moment they obviously don't want people going and just selling a whole stack of synths because that will uh affect the market so at the moment the staking rewards you're getting your synth but then they're locked up for 12 months but in 12 months time they're yours and you can do whatever you want restake them sell them doesn't matter and imagine the kind of uh gains they may have made in 12 months time and again it could be huge you know you're staking them now at three dollars and in 12 months time all of a sudden they're 15 dollars, 20 dollars, or you know god knows what all of a sudden you've got these coins that are now released to you on a weekly basis because it's every week or every fortnight or whatever and all of a sudden you can do whatever you want sell them yeah sounds pretty good to me now something else i like about synthetics is they are super active uh they have a super active community so you can come across to here have a look at their uh twitter page they are just constantly 18th 17th of july 17th of july they're just all over the place they are constantly putting out uh new tweets highly highly active so again you know if you're looking for authenticity and whether they're legit and things like that these are the things that you need to look for now again a twitter account by itself doesn't mean that someone's legit a fancy nice home page doesn't mean they're legit there's a whole lot of things that go into it it's taking in the overall perspective you know everything that you're gathering but again a nice 
you know, a good page that they've put work into. It's not some cheap, nasty looking thing. You come over to the market cap and you can see that they're high up there in the uh, DeFi space. You can just have a look at their their performance since they started. So that was back here in 2018. They made it, they basically came out in the bear market when everything was going down was when they started and they didn't disappear. Yes, their price tanked, it got down low. That's expected to happen in a bear market but they continued and continued and continued they got to 2019 they had that little pump everyone else did and then it fell down and kind of you know started accumulating again and then they've just started to have these big massive movements movements and still going i have no idea how high this can go uh you know as a fact but I can see it going a lot higher. But at the moment, we are in uncharted territory, so we're already in price discovery, as they say, you know, uh, all-time highs. There's definitely a chance we could have a pullback. Uh, and again, it could be a significant pullback, but it still might just be at the start of this thing going parabolic. This might not even be parabolic yet. And if it's not parabolic yet, then yeah, wow, watch out when it does go parabolic. Something else I like, come over to the discord and you can see that they have an active discord community as well so they're out there they've got a working product you know they have a community uh, that everyone's getting behind they're interacting with their community you know the token itself is just going from strength to strength to strength we are still so early if we are in a bull market and, and I think we are, and I think we really have been since around about sort of 2019. It's just not the bull market that everyone's thinking of. We're still very early, absolutely early. So this could still have a lot of legs to go. And I, I think it does. That's my personal opinion, not financial advice. My personal opinion, I think synthetics has a long way to go. And I think the potential upside for it and a number of other DeFi projects is immense. You know, 10x, 20x, 30x, 50x, 100x, who knows? You know, I'm not a, a savant. I, I can't tell you the future, but my gut feeling is that Synthetic still has a really long way to go. And I love that they're active in the community. I love that, they, you know, they've got Twitter and Discord and Telegram and all sorts of things. But there is something here I wanted to show about Telegram. Uh, just be careful. So there's people on Telegram at the moment pretending that they work for synthetics uh, and they're offering you know OTC deals and things like that. Do not get scammed. Uh, I am not a huge fan of Telegram. Not so much Telegram, the platform itself, but it's just full of scammers. If anyone's private messaging you on Telegram uh, and they're telling you, you know, we've got these bonus offers, you know, send your coins here and we're going to send you more back. We've spoken about this before. It's a scam. The only time it might be legit is when they're just asking for you for your receiving address that's it and they're going to send you stuff maybe it's not a scam i still probably would be very careful and you can't lose anything by giving your receiving address never hand out your seed phrases and never send your crypto to someone to get more back it's a scam you're going to lose everything so anyway that's my thoughts on synthetics love it uh so glad i invested in it uh and i'm in it for the long haul at some stage obviously i'll cash some out uh, to get my initial investment back and some profit but the majority of my synthetics i plan on holding them for years to come i, I think this is definitely going to be the future of uh, how trading that will be done my thoughts i hope you liked it anyway that's it from me uh stay safe be kind to one another Hopefully you made some gains over this weekend and I'll see you next time.